Look, guys, I know we're all in quarantine right now. There's a lot of crazy stuff and scary stuff happening in the world. And I just quickly want to say I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're making smart decisions and trying to do what you can to stay healthy and to make sure everyone around you, your loved ones, your friends stay healthy as well. Again, this is something pretty serious and really scary that we're going through right now. So again, I just want to kind of throw out there that I do hope you guys are doing well. And again, I do appreciate you always tuning in to these videos. And just because we're in quarantine, I hope you don't think for a second that your brother's going to stop making videos. You know damn well I'm going to make videos for you guys, and I'm here to entertain you guys. Almost every day of the week, I'm going to put out videos. So when you're staying at home, trying to stay healthy, and maybe you're feeling a little bit bored, 7 p.m. rolls around, come in and watch me. So that's exactly what we're doing tonight. We're going to be going over 10 intriguing mesmerizing fragrances that when someone smells these on you they're instantly in their head going to be thinking that is not like anything i've ever smelled before that is not a cologne what could that possibly be that is that is just mind-blowing and yes i can almost guarantee that's what they're going to be thinking when they smell these 10 fragrances these aren't your generic basic average fragrances here these are scents that really have something about them that is extremely attention grabbing and that really is quite unique and doesn't smell like your typical average body spray shower gel fragrance. I hope you guys are ready. I know I am. And again, I hope to see you at the end of the video as well. Let's get into it. Starting off with the first fragrance here, we have the one Royal Night. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Dolce and Gabbana, the one that is not a unique fragrance. That is a fragrance that's been around for a long time. And yes, it has been around for a long time and a lot of people probably do wear it. But the one Royal Night, in my opinion, just there's something about this one that is just awesome. You know, I love the EDP, one of my favorite scents, but I like this one because there's a bit of a different twist on that DNA. And it also is a better performer than the one EDP, which is one of the main downfalls of that scent. Now, one thing you do have to realize with this one is that this takes away the famous tobacco note that you get in the EDT and EDP. It's unfortunately not in here anymore. And when I was looking at the note breakdown and looking to pick this one up, I was thinking in my head, you know, is that going to be a deal breaker for me? Because in my opinion, the tobacco is really one of the foundational notes that make Dolce & Gabbana the one what it is. But honestly, when you smell this fragrance, I mean, even though there's no tobacco, it still smells so amazing. And when you take that tobacco away, what I pick up on is more of like a vanilla, like sweet, smooth, warm type of note. So, you know, it's a bit less harsh and in your face, kind of like Dolce & Gabbana the one is in terms of just, you know, how kind of sharp it is from that tobacco in the opening. This one is a bit more smooth, warm, and sweet, a bit more sensual in that sort of way. And trust me, on skin and in the air, it smells incredible. The One Royal Night, this is definitely something quite a bit different. And while it is still that Dolce & Gabbana The One DNA, they put just a bit of a twist on it, which really, I think, makes it stand out on its own. Moving up next here, we have John Varvatos Pour Homme. Now, you guys know I love my John Barbados fragrances. I think overall, dollar for dollar, some of the best bang for your buck fragrances that you can get. And honestly, you don't see many people talk about the original John Barbados Pour Homme. You know, obviously we have Artisan Pure, we have the Dark Rebels, we have Artisan Aqua, all of those other ones, which are great. But the original Pour Homme, you know, no one seems to be speaking about this one anymore. And I recently picked this one up and I, I thought it was a travesty and I, I have to bring it to light. So here I am. But it smells amazing. I like it because when you look at the note breakdown, you think it's going to be like super, super sweet and kind of hard to pull off. But actually, when you smell this fragrance, it has like a, quite a bit of a freshness to it that you wouldn't really expect. And you do pick up on that freshness that it has. It definitely does have a mass appealing effect to it. And this is one where when you smell it, it kind of has that signature John Varvatos DNA in there. So you know it's a John Varvatos, but it does smell great. Really something different, something unique. Even though it came out in like 2002, I think, this was like the first John Varvatos fragrance, it still holds up, still incredible. Great quality, great bang for your buck. John Varvatos Pour Homme. This one is really one that'll set you apart. If you want to smell classy, if you just want to smell put together, you got to check this one out. This one's Dior Homme O. So this one, you know, is an iris-based fragrance like you would expect from the Dior Homme line, but it's a fresher and a bit of a spicier iris. And one thing you will see is people compare this one to Prada Lome. Now, 
I do own both and I can, you know, to some extent say that they are similar, but they also are, in my opinion, quite a bit different as well. Pratolome is much more soapy uh, and a little bit more, I guess, kind of sweet in one way or another, whereas this one has more emphasis on this like fresher, spicier kick, at least in my personal opinion. That's kind of how I look at it to some extent. Pratolome just, again, a bit more sweet. Uh, this one's a bit more fresh and spicy. So, both are great in their own way, and I would reach for both in you know different situations. So, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say it would be redundant to own them. You know, they both are great, and I do think if you want something that's going to make you smell clean and put together and just you know classy and elegant, Diorama would be great. Super versatile, can do a lot with this fragrance, and it's got good performance as well, which is nice. Moving on next here, we have Tom Ford gray vetiver so for my vetiver lovers out there i'm sure you know about this one already but if you do not you should check this one out for me personally i just recently picked this fragrance up and i'm sure as a lot of you guys have heard me talk about before i love vetiver as a fragrance note it's one of my favorite fragrance notes especially in the woods category i, I love it you know i love it in a lot of fragrances both fragrances that are based around vetiver like this one and like Roja Parfums Vetiver and all that, but also just in other fragrances and, you know, Terre d'Hermes Eau Intense Vetiver, those types of things, but also just in fragrances that utilize the note of Vetiver to, you know, a pretty high extent. I always really enjoy it, and I should have got this fragrance sooner, but for whatever reason, I just didn't, but now I do have it, and I can say I do love it. It's a nice, clean, soapy vetiver with a little bit of like a powdery sweetness as well like a bit of a creaminess is one way to describe it so it's really nice and very versatile all year round all season any situation type of fragrance it's tom ford gray vetiver i mean it is a classic it's it's what can you expect it's a tom ford fragrance you get great quality great unique scent dna but this is one that when people smell this in the air it's definitely gonna have them thinking, you know, what was that that I just smelled? Moving up next, we have Bottega Veneta Pour Ohm. Not the extreme version here, uh, just the original uh, Eau de Toilette version. I do plan on getting the extreme at some point. I just haven't really been able to locate a bottle for a price that I'm necessarily wanting to pay just yet. So I am probably gonna have to pay a little bit more than I would want to, but it's not the end of the world. I do like the scent DNA and I am gonna do it. Uh, but this fragrance is nice. It is more of an old school aromatic type fragrance. So definitely not going to be anything if you're wanting a young, fun smelling fragrance, like a teenager smelling fragrance. I mean, this is far from that. This is something that is a bit old school. And as you guys know, I love fragrances like that, especially lately. I've really been into them. So this one kind of, you know, hit the nail on the head for me. Really nice. Definitely masculine. It definitely just kind of has this boss factor to it. Like when I wear this stuff, I just feel like the boss. I feel like the man. It's kind of how the scent just kind of puts off and how it makes me feel. And that is something that will translate to the people around you. They're going to smell this coming off of you and, you know, they're going to think you own the place that you're at. All right, so it's time to switch it up a little bit here. We've been talking about fragrances that, you know, maybe a little bit more on the sweeter side, maybe stuff that aren't necessarily fully suited for summertime. You know, a lot of these are kind of year rounders, but. We need a good summer fragrance in here that's going to really intrigue people. Obviously, summer is coming up, and to be honest, it can be hard to find some, you know, summer fresher fragrances that aren't basic, that aren't generic. You know, you want something that is going to catch people's attention, and I got one that I think is going to work pretty well. It is, you know, it's the new Aqua de Gio Profondo. Now, you can watch my review on this one. I've already done all of that, so, you know, you can see my thoughts on it there. Um, but I do really like the scent for the fact that it is something a bit different. You get this like somewhat earthy mineral type of smell mixing with some citrus and aquatic notes. Doesn't to me really smell like any of the other Aqua de Gio fragrances and definitely doesn't smell like any other aquatics out there. Again, while this doesn't have, you know, that wow factor and that mind blowing, uh, effect like Profumo had for me personally, I do still really enjoy the scent again for the fact that they did kind of push it here creating something a bit different. It still does have that mature masculine vibe that Profumo has which I really like and appreciate. Profondo, I really enjoy it. I really like it and I hope you guys like it as well. Unfortunately not on discounters yet so I'm not going to have a link for you to pick it up discounted. I will have links to everything else in this video down below. Just not this one unfortunately. You're going to have to be paying retail for it. Um, in my opinion, I would say just wait a couple months here 
it's going to hit discounters and then you can pick it up it'll be in prime time summer around the corner you know but it's totally up to you obviously but i would say you know maybe save your money invest in some other discounted fragrances first and then pick this bad boy up probably in the summertime when it's discounted of course i don't know that for sure it may take a bit longer than that but you know we'll have to see seems like new fragrances have been hitting discounters pretty quick so fingers crossed but still aqua joe profondo great great scent here i do think it is going to be a head turner had to go with the chanel i love my chanel fragrances especially here lately i just love them i know they're a bit more expensive and i know these typically aren't really discounted all that often as well but for my guys out there who are with me on the chanel love you'll probably appreciate this one chanel allure ohm edition blanche an extremely hyped and well-loved summer fragrance and yeah it is really nice you get this lemon tonka bean mixture it doesn't smell like a cologne you know it doesn't smell like anything else on the market really i mean you know it's got some similarities to some other stuff but it's not replicating anything else which i really do like and appreciate that's kind of what chanel does they kind of you know try to take their own path for the most part and i do really like this one especially for summertime something different something unique that no one else around me is going to be wearing I'll go for something like this, Chanel Allure Ohm Edition Blanche. Working our way down towards the end of the video, up next we've got YSL Loam Old Team. I love this fragrance. It's a great scent. It's of course from the Loam line of fragrances, but it really doesn't necessarily smell like the original Loam. It's got rose, it's got ginger, so it's a bit of an interesting combination here. And you know, that is a pretty popular combination, ginger and rose. Um, typically you'll see it in more niche fragrances I would say or at least especially rose um, it's not something that you typically see every day in men's designers but they utilize it in here perfectly it's a fresher rose so it's not anything that's gonna be too sweet it's nothing that's gonna smell like a grandma trust me guys I promise I wouldn't peddle you something that smells like a grandma uh, but it is unique it does smell really nice and I, I love the loam line of fragrances particularly the original I love the original loam but this one's got to come in pretty close uh, up next to the original loam in terms of how much I like it definitely unique definitely something that will set you apart and that is quite a bit different here now I have heard just as a rumor that this one is discontinued I don't know don't shoot the messenger I haven't you know I don't know for sure I'm just passing that on to you from what I've heard so I would say maybe pick up this one on discounters while you can because if that is true they're probably gonna go pretty quick second to last fragrance we have here Tom Ford Beau Du Jour yeah we do have another Tom Ford this is the new bottle or the new formulation the new style uh, Beau Du Jour I have the private blend version I featured in a video not too long ago I wanted to get this new one here and now I have it and I could say there are some slight differences between the private blend and this one that's going to be topic for a whole separate video I'm not going to get into it here I will say this one a bit more fresh the other one has a bit more depth in terms of its sweetness I guess I could say I'm not saying that this one is watered down and that it's you know light um, it just is a bit more fresh and bright it does have really good performance though which is a plus side and that is a good thing um, but there are some minor differences regardless whichever one you can get your hands on is great uh, they are both the discounters I will link them both down below this one um, I did get off of fragrance X uh, for a pretty good price for this 100 ml bottle so this one will be the route to go uh, just in terms of you know the price per mil like my 50 ml bottle you know I paid probably more than what I paid for this 100 ml and that's just how it goes with private blends so you know at the end of the day whichever one you can get your hands on for a cheaper price price per mil wise which is probably going to be this one it's probably the one you should go with but i will leave that up to you sample them first and see what you think um and then go from there this is obviously a fougere an aromatic fougere fragrance if you aren't into that sort of thing and you think it smells old school and you don't like them you're not going to like this but for all my people who really enjoy the classics and fragrances like this it's gorgeous it's beautiful top four beau du jour really really nice aromatic fougere and finally the last fragrance we have in this list terre de hermes otres fresh obviously the fresh citrus version of terre de hermes really nice you get the citruses you get some woods traditional to the line um, it's just simply a more wearable and fresher version of that dna and for that it smells great 
really good way to get into the Terra de Hermes line. If you know the EDT is a bit much for you and is kind of daring, um, you know obviously the Parfum is going to be about the same, uh, if not a little bit harder to pull off because it is even heavier. And then uh, O Intense Vetiver, Vetiver based fragrance. Um, this one's going to be the easiest to wear, the easiest to get into, and a great place to start. So guys, that's going to do it for me. That was 10 intriguing fragrances that's going to get anyone's attention around you. I can almost guarantee it, guys. If you go with any of these, they're going to kill it for you. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. All these will be linked down below in the description as well to discounted prices, you know, some of the best prices around so you can easily pick them up. Uh, and of course, make sure you stay safe. Again, like I said, a lot of crazy stuff going on out there in the world. Make smart decisions and, you know, stay healthy. So that's going to do it for me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night with another one. Take care.